Hi, my name is Bill, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the drain impeller O-ring on your dishwasher. The reason why you might have to do this is because it's broken, damaged, or missing. For this repair, we'll be using a flathead screwdriver, a 5 16 inch nut driver, a screwdriver with a VT20 star bit, and a hook tool. Warning, before doing any repairs, please disconnect your power source. So this is the dishwasher we're going to be using for our demonstration. It's a Maytag. Keep in mind, ours might be a little bit different than what you have at home, but the same technique should still apply. So we're going to open up our dishwasher door here. And we'll slide out our bottom rack and set that off to the side. Now we'll unscrew the spray arm cap right here. And take that out and we can lift out the spray arm assembly now and now we have to remove this cover and in order to do that you've got to take off all these screws right here You should be able to lift the cover out. And now I'm going to remove the filter here. And we can take off the inner spray arm. And now we can take off the discharge housing nut here. And that'll unscrew. You just grab it by hand. And if you can't reach it, if you got bigger fingers, you can also use a pair of needle nose pliers in order to get that off. Now I'm going to take off the spray arm support here. And now I'm going to use a 5 16 inch nut driver. I've got three screws holding this cover on here. Now we should be able to lift this cover off. So this is our impeller right here. In order to get that off, what we're gonna have to do is use a 5 16 inch nut driver. And you're gonna either have to hold it in place if you can, or what you can do is grab a flathead screwdriver and stick it in one of those slots right there. And then as you unscrew it, just hold that in place. Because if you don't, the impeller will turn with the screw and you'll never get it unscrewed. So once you get it out a little bit, like so. Should be able to just hold the impeller in place now and unscrew it the rest of the way. And now we can take out the impeller. If you're having trouble, you might need to squirt a little bit of rust buster down in there and let it sit for a little bit. But with ours, we can rock it just a little bit back and forth and it should pop right out. So now we're gonna take out these two plastic plates right here and these just pull right off like so. And then you'll see this O-ring right here. Now, if you've got really small fingers and you can get it off without taking those plastic plates off, that's great. However, I don't, so I needed those plates off in order to get to the ring. And all you have to do is just pull it straight up. Now, you can grab your new OEM replacement O-ring. If you don't have one already, you can find it on our online store. And now we can put the O-ring back on, just like this. And we're just going to push it all the way down. There we go. So now we'll put these bottom plates back in. And we're going to line up 
that slot right there, the slot on the bottom. And again, we're gonna line up slot on this one with that slot right there. And now we can put our impeller in and you'll notice on this piece right here, there is an oval shape to that piece of metal and there'll be an oval shape inside of the impeller as well. So you're gonna line up the impeller with that piece that sticks up and when you've got it lined up, it should push straight down on there, just like that. And now we can put the screw back into place. And once that impeller starts turning, you might want to use a screwdriver in order to hold it in place again, in order to finish tightening it. Now I can put the cover back on and you're going to make sure that the screw holes line up and those slots with the tabs and as you can hear right there it clicks back into place. And now we can put the screws back in place here. So we'll just slide those down like so. And screw them in. Now we'll put our spray support back on and that'll just sit right there. Now I'll put the housing nut back on. Tighten that by hand, like so. And now the inner spray arm, we'll just slide right in like that. And now we'll put the filter back into place. And just make sure you push it down like so. So now we've got these plastic gasket rings. So these will go right back on there. So now you'll see right here, we've got these two water inlets right there. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna want those in the back corner here. So this screw right here will go in the 12 o'clock position like so. And your water inlets will be right in there. And now we can put our bottom rack back inside, slide that in, and then close up the door, and your repair is complete. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. If you need to replace any parts for your appliances, you can find an OEM replacement part on our website, pcappliancerepair.com. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us make more videos just like these for you to watch for free.